J like the letter, I'm making several waves. I know the mission is same. I made a splash, now all of my past is last. Like running a race with Usain. I keep it coming like this is a buffet. And if I'm stumbling, I'm in the craze. Never gon' fumble it. I get the bag and I run with it. Gunning it, gunning it, gunning it, gunning it. Murray with the legs, all about finesse. I ain't not impressed. Uh, I don't need a rash coming in with last thing. You see I got the bread and I got the jewels. I got some dogs and I let them lose. Bring in the storm and this ain't the zoos. Walk in the sky. You better not smoke brain down. You we sit at home, right off the, the back. I mean, what you do that? They start looking for ways not to get hit. That's when it starts working. You understand? What draws us here? You think about this, man. Because every one of us here at some point in our life, we've went and hit somebody and we've had that daggone feeling, that daggone joyous feeling of hitting somebody. And here in the air, leave his body, and him laying there moaning, trying to find a way just to stay alive. It's addictive. It is a, it is like a drug. You know what it feels like to do that to another man. To rule over a whole other man. Boys, when you do that, you take away. At that moment, you're taking away everything that that guy is. You pretty much taking away everything that he can be to you ever again. It is one of the greatest things about football. One of the greatest things about being a daggone man and going and ruling over another man. It's our animalistic nature. I was trying to tell Leisure about his daddy today and about how that man played football. And he said, so pretty much you just go have fun? That's what football is, man. That's the fun part. Running and hitting and being tough is the fun part of football. And going and ruling over another man and taking away everything that he is right at that moment. By the time they come to kick us out, it's going to sound like a bomb has went off here in Barberville, Kentucky. I want to hear everybody's pads just go wild. And then after the play, Leisure, what are we going to do? We're going to get up and we're going to hoop and holler with each other, ain't we? <laughs>
we're up here in good old Union, out here in the great, great community of Barberville. Rock laid the smack down tonight. It's just the second quarter. Do not no, just the second half, game. excuse me. It's just going to start. We got a running clock. Put the JV in. They finally scored. JV guys got Eight minute quarters. They took off four minutes on the quarters. And it's supposed to take the whole time to score. Is that is ready. embarrassing. Um, so basically, the score was 41 to 0, but now it's 41 to 6. But, you know. No telling what it would have been if we kept uh, everybody in. Won. They just couldn't catch Zay. <laughs> That's a good one. That's tough. Dude, the camera is actually tough. So, coach told us at the beginning of the week, don't underestimate no one. But I mean. Yeah, that is eight. Hi, I'm Brayton, or I'm Jacob Camel, and I'm excited to play football on the varsity level. How do you like Marty Reagan? Marty Reagan is my idol. He teaches me how to catch the ball and run the ball. College got a good victory here playing Pineville, and we're excited. We're so proud of the boys. But I always, we always tell them all the time, you know, you don't win the games on Friday nights. You may do it on the scoreboard, but through the weeks when you win the football games, hey, there ain't no tougher team in the state than this right here. We practiced full gear for three days right in a row, 100 degree heat. It didn't matter. We we toughed it out, and it showed tonight. Couldn't be more proud of a group of guys. Rock hard, rock hard, rock hard baby. Ah, now. Like I told y'all at halftime, we have class. You understand? Yeah. I've been on both sides. I know how it's like. I know what's like. We don't. We don't do that to other people. Especially people we want to do good. We want them to do good. RPI stuff. So we want our opponents to do good. Y'all came out there and played very fast, very hard, and I lost probably at least six months of my life this whole week worrying about the game. <laughs> and the coach over there said, you didn't do a daggone thing like you did last week. How many times we like run L tonight? Zero. 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 If the fair shuts down at 12, we can make it back. Yeah! 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 Y
Oreos. Deep fried Oreos at the fair. Yeah! yeah. Hey, Listen up. Hey, everybody, bow your heads. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we just thank you for this day, Lord, and just thank you for the many blessings you've bestowed upon our life, God. Lord, we just thank you for allowing us to come out here and play football today, God. Lord, thank you for allowing us to get a win, God. Lord, pray travel mercies on all our fans and us as well as we head home today, Lord. Lord, if there be any loss, let them come to know you as your Savior, God. Lord, forgive us for our sins and all the ways we failed you, God. Thank you for nobody getting hurt. Lord, but most of all, we thank you for your son, Jesus, and it's through his name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't be out here all day. You hear that whistle? We got to go. Get up. Stay right there. Up. 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 Three, one, two, three, go. Cornbread. 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 Hey. You ready? Tell us what we're doing. Me and Miles always have a tradition, and uh, it should just speak for itself. You ready, bub? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir.
Jackson down to mighty Mississippi. We took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we bought the buddy British and the town of New Orleans. Oh, it's canceled. It's canceled. Oh, my gosh. I kept coming to Oh, boy. Frankfurt, we just played them. Game's over at halftime. Got canceled because of rain. Um, I thought our offense played very well tonight. We got the ball ran a lot more. Carter Powell had three touchdowns and one on defense. They got a pick six off of a uh, it was like a pass thingy. I don't know what it was really. To be honest with you, uh, defense played exceptional tonight. We didn't let up. We let up one first down and that's it. And that was on a stupid little screen pass. We just missed the tackle. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't remember the final score, but it was up there. The Bears give us a big hug. The Rockies are, baby! Woo! Great win tonight. Rain cut us short a little bit. That's the momentum we needed, baby. Let's keep rolling. One day, one day, I will not be coaching. But I'm going to fight till that day comes. You hear me? It's just us. It's just, that's who we are, boys. Just some old back backwoods country boys that love to hit and fight and play together. I love it. Everything that's happened in your life, everything that we've done with, as a football team, you all realize it has prepared you for this moment. And I've told you all week, everything's against us. Everything's worked against us all week, hasn't it? 
we've got our back against the wall, everybody's against us, and we've got to have a fighting man mentality. Our football lives are on the line. We can't afford to slip up. So we've got to have that fighter's mentality as we get ready to step between those white lines. <laughs> Under pressure, you don't rise to the occasion, you fall to the level of your training. I want you to think about everything that we've put you through. As much as we have put you through, how much we've punished you from Jabez to the Green Bays to the running, calling defenses when you're dog tired, getting yelled at, boys, you are prepared. Everything we've done has prepared you for these kind of moments. If y'all remember real clearly, I said back in the summertime when it was real hot, we gotta, we gotta have that I love everything attitude. Right now, boys, I love it that our backs are against the wall and we get to find out who we are when our backs are against the wall and it's time, time to come out throwing punches first. Our backs are against the wall, let's come out fighting. I love it. I can't wait to see what kind of rage and aggression we got as we get ready to go to war right here. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. All right. I want to feel it now. Let's let everybody in the world feel it. I am! I am! I am! I am! Prepare! Prepare! To fight! To fight! For my team! For my team! For my brothers! For my brothers! For my life! For my life! My football life! My football life! I will not be denied! 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 Whatever it takes! Whatever it takes! Whatever it takes! Whatever it takes! Stop this! Stop it! Stop this! Stop it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Yes, sir. Park 
Mr. Kidwell and Noah Phillips here with the halftime report. Noah, what did you think about the first half? Well, I feel like I could have went a whole lot better. As you can see, the floor, though, I think we're doing pretty good. I feel like the second um, half is going to be even better. What do you think? Um, I feel like we definitely came out strong. Uh, second quarter, last play was a little bit rough. Um, it was a lot. It was tragic. The last play uh, shouldn't have happened. Ball was in the air. Should have been down. Um, we just got to come out hard and score a lot in the second half. Back to you. We're here with Bradley Mullins, Olivia Ham, and uh, how do you guys feel like the game's going so far? It's halftime. Mm -hmm. Um, it's halftime. The score is 31-14 us, and, you know, I'm always here for my cousin Blake, and I'm always proud of him. I feel like he's doing a really good job, but Isaiah Jackson is kicking butt, and Carter Powell is also doing a really good job. Creed Gabbard had some star moments there. Um, Ethan Tillery got a cramp, and that's all I know. Um, I'm just kind of here. I don't really know what's going on. That's the reality of it. All right, so we are here with? Uh, Skyler Menifee. And what school do you go to? Grant County. How do you feel about the game right now? Um, I feel like we've made a lot of mistakes. I feel like we definitely should be passing the, more, the ball more. And I feel like number zero, we definitely need to stop him. He's being very dominant right now. Yeah, we do have a D1 commit to UK here right now. To UK? Yeah, he's here. All right, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah. Hey, what's up? You know, we're watching the football game, you know. Not good for us, but good for you guys, I guess. So. Do, you, do you guys think you're coming out with the dub tonight? I don't know, man. Same stuff, but I, I hope so. Uh, my name is Dalton DeBoer here. We're with 1505 Productions tonight uh, with the halftime report from a Grant County student section member. What's your name, young fella? Uh, James Ely. James, man. It's been tough out there. Man, how you feeling going into this? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail. Okay, anyways, anyways. So, how do you feel about this, man? Uh, I think that we are not running the, we're not passing the ball. I mean, yep. You know, you guys are just like better than us. We suck. Um, you heard it from a Grant County member right here. The rock is hard, baby. <laughs> Hold up. All right, all right. We're here with uh, another Grant County student member. What's your name, man? Uh, Lucas. All right, Lucas. Give us your halftime report, man. So my halftime report right now is um, our coach is low-key selling us. We're running the ball too damn much. You know, we just – our quarterback can't throw the ball. They won't let him. Yeah. Oh, Can I just say one thing to Isaiah? One, Isaiah Jackson. Yeah. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. you guys, you heard it here. All right. Well, subscribe to 1505 Productions on YouTube. Tensions are a little high here at halftime with Grant County student section. But we're doing good. Hopefully we'll keep it up. We got to get back down to the field and keep filming some highlights for the great rock. Can we get a little rock hard? Rock hard. Woo!
Noah Phillips and Parker Kidwell back here. I just wanted to let you guys know it is nearing the end of the game. My comment aged very well. We played great the second half. We're going to bring home another win, stay undefeated. Anything you got to say, Parker? Uh, Grand County has some incredibly loud trash talkers uh, to be so terrible at the game. Uh, we came out honestly in the second half and uh, whooped, whooped hell, played hard rock football, and it was just it was a great night for Friday Night Lights. Yeah. Uh, good game tonight. Uh, the guys played hard. Uh, you got anything to say? 4 0. Oh. There you go. I'd be fine now. Ready for Paris. We're coming next for you, week. Paris. No, we had a rough week of practice, boys. But, you know, we had some adversity, and, you know, that's what we love. Bye, God. Shut up, Tilly. Anyways, we, we just love it. And, you know, we come out here and play as a team, and that's what happens. We get the W. I'm Jacob Camel, and this is week four of Rockcastle Football, and we are 4 0 now. It's been a long time coming. They ain't come from my clock, they tugging it. They're putting up numbers, 99 pounds, and I still kept it 100. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. They ain't come from my clock, they tugging it. They're putting up numbers, 99 pounds, and I still kept it 100. Yeah, who don't play? Who play? Who play? Who play? Who don't play? Who play? Who play? Who play? Mission. They said that I'm tripping. I've been told I need a vacation. I'm finessing a visit. First class.